So here's how you can know what is a downlink in the background of your Android. Let's get started. So there are some apps and ways where you can actually download stuff, right? So usually you are going to be downloading things from the Play Store or directly from the internet. So I guess you'll have to go through the apps separately, right? So if you go ahead and open up the, in my case, Google folder and go to the Google Chrome, you can see some options which I can check out regarding my web browsing. But if I go to the three dots right here, I can check out the downloads. And it's going to show me the history of the things which I've been downloading. And if there is anything active, I'll be able to monitor it right here. So this is obviously useful because you usually download stuff from the internet, of course. So yeah, you will have to go through a web browser most likely. The other web browsers should have that implemented too. So if you check out some different things, like for example, the uh, Samsung browser, you can also check out the downloads right here and also check out if there is something currently being downloaded. As I said, you can go to the Google Play Store and also see the apps and check out your profile. If there aren't any like uh, software updates being downloaded or something. So yeah, that's definitely another place where you can manage the apps and you can see that you can click on update all and then stuff will be downloading in the background. So keep in mind that you will have to check those apps separately. So this is like the whole point of the video. So that is either the web browser, which I've shown you how you can access the Google Play Store, which downloads some apps, and then also some applications where you can download content, for example, the streaming services or some other stuff. But this is how you can know and check out the background downloads. Keep in mind that it would be a good idea to check out the settings and go to the apps section like that and just manage every single app specifically and separately. For example, if I go to the Gmail, I can choose if the app can access the mobile data or if it is or has the background data usage allowed. Of course, you can go through it like that for every application. So I guess it would be useful to set that up as well for apps like, I don't know, Instagram, right? So you can see the mobile data and the same stuff going on in here. So you can even see what's going on in the background and that's how you can manage it. Now, this is everything that I could mention about this topic. If you have any additional questions regarding this, go ahead and let me know below. But for now, that's going to be about it. Thanks a lot and I'll catch you in the future uploads. <laughs>